the real reason that January 6 QAnon shaman was released from prison early. I wanted to grab this one because this guy became like the centerpiece for the whole thing. All anybody talked about was this nutcase. Real name, Jacob Chansley. Turns out he's just a wandering weirdo who likes to get into trouble, and that's that. There's tons of photos of him all over the internet and everything. But there's, uh, there's a couple words for that. Uh, is it what useful idiot? Is it, yeah, yeah, a bit there, a bit there. Uh, Jacob Chansley, the convicted J6 rioter, was dubbed the QAnon shaman. He didn't have anything to do with QAnon, by the way. Thanks to viral photographs of his outlandish getup, his former attorney and legal experts say it has nothing to do with Tucker Carlson or the Fox News host's broadcast seemingly being led through the hallways of the Capitol by police. Now, I want to point out something. If you're storming a building and your intent is to cause harm of some kind or anything like that, you don't have news crews there waiting for photo ops. Yes. Set up perfectly. You don't pose with all of your pals. Uh, you don't have the news crews diligently following you through the entire place. You don't have police escorting you through rope cordons. This guy had whole, a whole CNN news crew dedicated to just him and his buddies. Do you remember that? I do. I do. A side note. What the hell is Q QAnon? I've been hearing QAnon this. is that whole conspiracy theory where if we just wait two more weeks, there's a secret organization. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. of all of the real government officials there's a real government out there uh and Fair trump enough. is going to bring back the real government and we're going to overthrow this one and blah 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 it's okay they obviously here we are three years later yeah because I, I, over the past few years i've had a lot of people like you know accuse me you're just a member of QAnon. i'm like what the fuck is QAnon? yeah i'm just an old grunt who's medically fucking broken from getting wounded in two right. fucking wars yeah just talking trash trying to educate the masses out there who aren't paying attention. That's the only thing I'm doing. That's exactly correct. That's that's exactly what's going on. So prison records indicate that Chansley, a self-described shaman, entered a residential re-entry management facility in Texas on Tuesday with a release date of May 25th, about 14 minutes ahead of his schedule. They have not commented on the reason for his release, but noted that recent changes to the First Step Act allow inmates to earn up to 54 days of good conduct. Now, why is this significant? They're making a big deal out of Mr. Chansley here. Uh, pleaded guilty in September 2021 of one felony count of obstruction of an official proceeding, which was BS, and sentenced to 41 months in prison. So he got Basically, three years and change for trespassing. Correct. Uh, he was carrying a spear and wearing a horned fur hat and face paint. It's a not a spear. It's a flag, well, first it, of all. Does it have a pointy end? On it, it has a pointy end, but ah. those are decorative ceremonial flags. Yeah, I know. I just, right, uh, so, you guys got by. me still? Yeah, yeah, we got you. What's up? Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're, we're good now. Right. Murphy has been finally unfucked, so okay. I think we're good. Okay, phrasing. All right. Um. Anyway, what I'm getting right. at here is they, this guy was given three and a half years, but now he's getting out on good behavior, and they're putting him in a halfway house, and he was just a clown walking through a hallway. This photo you can see here demonstrates exactly what I'm talking about. Look at these guys. They're stopping to pose for photos they're walking around. They're having a good time. They've got a, a media crew with them. Now, the crazy thing is he's getting all of the attention. What's not getting the intention is all of the other people who are getting 22 years. I don't think Enrique, Otor Enrique Tario was actually at D.C. Do you recall if he was I, I don't recall seeing him. They're calling him a white supremacist. He's Puerto Rican and he's married to a black woman, I believe. Now, wasn't is he, he the isn't he the guy that was in charge of the Proud Boys? That's the one. Yeah. But they're calling him a white supremacist. The guy is obviously, obviously not white. Ob obviously. And I believe, I believe he is either gay or married to a black woman. I don't So care. the whole that white supremacy thing goes out the window. It doesn't matter to me either, but what matters is they're the ones who are being racist and saying these things. Yes, and we're all worried correct. about being called racist. And here they are calling this guy a white supremacist. And he's obviously Hispanic. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. We're all evil, hairless monkeys. Correct. Now, I uh, 
I am on the portion that is severely melanin challenged. That person is somewhere in between. Yes. And how many, they give him what, 20 years? 22 years. Oh my God. 22 years for being there. So here's the thing that's killing me. And this is where the useful idiots part comes in. And Papa and I are going to talk about this in a minute, right after we get through this, because it's relevant. Um, the thing we were talking about at the beginning of the show yep. before the show started. Some 378 individuals have been sentenced to periods of incarceration over the involvement of January 6, 2021 uprising at the U.S. Capitol in the 32 months since the attempted overthrow election took place. The District of Columbia Attorney's Office said on Wednesday, note the language they use. People walked around. There was no attempted overthrow. There was no attempted coup d'etat. I've seen coup d'etats. Oh, yeah. This ain't it. Okay. Pop and I both have. Well, what about when uh, the, the abortion thing. weirdos stormed the Supreme Court, or the Capitol building, or the Capitol in, building. in different states? Yeah, yeah. nothing was done to them. nothing. Nothing has literally been literally nothing was done to them. More than one thousand one hundred forty-six people hailing from all fifty states in the Capitol have been charged with a variety of alleged offenses in relation to their presence at the grounds of Congress that day. That ground is our ground. I don't care what they say. Through the FBI, though the FBI noted recently that there were seven named individuals who had absconded from the law while facing charges. Now, this pisses me off more than anything because I dealt with North Korea for a number of years and I know what a totalitarian dictatorship looks like. Yep. Okay. I have sat from me to pop or closer with North Koreans that were coming from death camps actual real death camps where they deliberately starve people to death. Mm. And I heard horror story after horror story that I relive at night sometimes when I'm sleeping, which is a great deal of fun. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> these news media people who are on here gushing over attempted overthrow coup d'etat, all these words that they're using, these media monkeys are setting themselves up for a failure that they don't understand because they're being used by the people behind this power grab as the mouthpiece to condemn all of these people who were there on January 6th, turn them into monsters in the public eye. They get no trials, which we're going to get to in a minute. The media acts as a political arm for these parties. Correct. And just condemns the hell out of these people so that all the normal normies, as we refer to them lately, I guess, uh, normal Americans see this. Go, oh, it's terrible. They attempted a coup. They're, you know, they tried to overthrow the legitimate government of the United States. Well, I don't think anyone even had a weapon. No, none of our guys did. I know. I'd wait. No, I think two of our guys were actually licensed to carry. Yeah in the DC area because they were actual <clears throat> DC security detail people. Yeah. I think it was two guys on our whole crew. But if you're going to a coup d'etat usually involves weapons of some type. Am I wrong? Usually typically okay. and some killing. Yeah. And you know, I saw video footage of literally them moving barricades out of the way and allowing people to walk in freely. I also saw groups of people walking through the Capitol Rotunda inside the red ropes in the statuary room, looking at the statues, just walking through, walking through the red yeah. ropes. That's insane. So the reason I'm so hot about this, though, is the media has played right into the hands of these people, and they think that they can't be next. Well, the fact of the matter is... If you go by history, they're on the chopping block. Watch Corn Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.